okay guys don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and press the notification bell for the bell. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In case you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and press the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you're here and you don't miss out. Guys, again, we have our jumper here and it's done by nexo adventures nexos thank you very much for my jumper and the t-shirt i do really appreciate anyway so guys it's already drizzling and we are here at the culture center i'll be showing you more about the rwanda like the rwandese like their culture before the colonial what they used to do and uh, you know like when the I don't want to use some words but anyway okay before the western culture influence in rwanda if that's the right word to use africans had their own way of life like how we used to live so there are cultural centers that are preserved for that and if you want to learn more about the ancient culture you have to come around so here i am i'm hoping to take you guys with me we move around they'll tell us more and more about their traditional life so i'm glad i'm here and i'm glad that you're watching my video so it means you're here with me guys without further ado let's go so you can see my background <laughs> Let's go. This kingdom did Gasabo. It tries to uh, expand, expand uh, by fighting against other neighboring kingdoms to get big Rwanda. Oh. They did it. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Conquering this big region. To get big Rwanda. Rwanda is from the verb Kwanda, which means expansion. Expand. Oh, Rwanda. yeah. She got it. It means big. Yes. Just like any other kingdom in Africa, Rwanda expanded its territory by conquering the weaker and the small kingdoms around. By 19th century, Rwanda was now a big kingdom and hence its name Rwanda, which means expansion. And Kigali is the outcome of the expansion that means big anyway so in this video you're going to find out how the great kingdom lived the more than 27 kings who read this kingdom of Rwanda. Mm -hmm. i want to show you here the map this map shows how Rwanda used to be before colonization uh, this thing color here you see, it shows the beginning, the origin of our kingdom, where Rwanda came from. It came from Gasawa Hill here. Uh, it was one kingdom, Gasawa. What this kingdom did, Gasawa, it tries to uh, expand, expand uh, by fighting against other neighboring kingdoms to get big Rwanda. Oh. They did it. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Conquering this big region to get big Rwanda. Rwanda is from the verb Kwanda, which means expansion. Expand. Oh, Rwanda. yeah. She got it. It means big, big, big. 
Yes. Uh, but how it was. But in these 19th centuries, it is where uh, most of the European powerful countries uh, they had a conference, German, called the Berlin Conference, where they went to. Our king's warriors, when they went to the front line, they used these spears to fight against their enemies. They can spear the enemies or they can slaughter. Ah. Mm. Look at that. Uh, the poachers, uh, when they were hunting the forest, uh, these spears to kill the buffaloes. Yeah, they can spear the buffaloes. Uh, they're like uh, four or six men with a spear, spear the buffaloes, or you can... Just like any other Africans, they were known for crafting unique weaponry. During the pre-colonial era, which were then used for various activities like war, grazing, traditional ceremonies, and some even for prestige. Most notable weapons were the spears made using a long wooden shelf and a metallic head as well as the bow and arrows and swords often made from animal hides. See how you need to know where you are going to shoot. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Have you ever tried actually this more than one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me go there too. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hendrix. <laughs> Blowing the fire Blowing. so that the metal can be heated up, yes. And then we can make a knife, a knife, a spear, a spear like a knife. Hello, did you know that butter was made locally and is still made locally in Rwanda? So here we go get your milk, pour it into the big calabash. It's called a guata or wal in my language. Cover it with the lid and then start moving it gently like that for 15 to 20 minutes. It's a long process, yes. And then remove the lid. Put the sieve. That's the sieve. And then gently pour it in another jug as you can see to sieve it cover it well that's the milk that was taken out or the water and then you remain with butter put it in another bowl and let's and then, and once uh, we got butter yeah. and now it's somehow soft yeah we can't use it at this moment what we do I think it's somewhere for three months. Yeah. So it becomes hard and it becomes Where yellow. Yeah. Then we use it as lotion or uh, as mayonnaise. Yeah. Of course, it should be shaved. Like a corn, wheat, whatever in here. Yeah. Are you familiar with our modern for? And this is a granary. It's basically a traditional store where all the grains and product products from the farm are kept. In most African homes in the villages, we always have a grinding stone to grind all the cereals, millet, cassava, and sorghum to make flour out of them, or flour, whatever you call it, for porridge and for millet bread. So this is basically interesting. And this is me, because I do it in my village too. This. <laughs> Champion! <laughs> 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 <
Cut it. There is some water inside. Roast. You first cut it or you first roast it. No, no, you don't need. Like you can even roast it, right? You don't yeah. roast it. Yeah. 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 Then you will cut it. Then the water inside. That's you apply to your engine. Then it's becoming hot. Yeah. yeah. Then it's okay. Yeah. Kuwa kuba ni uku ni uba kuri shagawa dusha niye yoni. But for the guns girls. Uh, the Somebody should explain to me. I don't understand. They are like. We will tell you. <laughs> we will tell you love. <laughs> and the men, men, men love that because mm. yeah, they like oh, it. Okay. So no, let me ask you, why do you think they pull? Why? Ask him. Kuchi, ba ba kuda bukura ya mshin. Eh, kwa kuli ngo mukudia ya kuli alaba bar. Eh, chini. Chini kuli kani ngo ali nje zimu mugabo. First, two rounds. First one, uh, it's too easy her to give birth easily. Yeah. 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 Second one, men like it. It's for pleasure. Water. Yeah, for pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Okay, water. for the lady to be wet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now you understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. So this is the one that they use. Yeah, this is the one they use. It's a bitter apple. Yeah. yeah. So guys, this is a female buffalo's horn. Yeah. They use it to heal the mother's breast who is wow. nursing a baby. One, if one, like uh, have like swollen <laughs> teeth, <laughs> like the nipples, okay. they use this okay. to yeah. heal it. It's a female buffalo yeah. horn. Agra, the aphrodisiac for the men who want to make love. Properly. How? How, do you, how, do you, how do you use it? Because my brother here needs one. Yeah, we need one. The name is passive. Passive. Just put it in a cup of tea. Then we bake it. Agra, the aphrodisiac for the men who want to make love. Properly. How? How, do you, how, do you, how do you use it? Because my brother here needs one. Yeah, we need one. <laughs> The, oh, the name is passive. Yeah. Just put it in a cup of tea. Yes. Then we bring uh, this uh, dried stuff. Put it in a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Then we drink. For five minutes. Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> After five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Okay. So do you use it as a fresh one or the dry one? Do you use the dry one? Oh, the, like the dry one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like if you use two spoons, you will kill someone. <laughs> you will kill someone. <laughs> oh. Oh.
black hole. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is it banana beer? What's yeah, that's a banana beer. Local made banana beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a meat, yeah. Oh, guys, you're going to drink. Unfortunately, it's alcoholic, right? Yeah, it's alcoholic. Yeah, I don't take alcohol. <laughs> but you guys I'm can. I'm going to have this right now. I don't yeah. take okay. alcohol, unfortunately. Okay. But I can get it for food. So do you want these people to open for you? I can open myself. Yes. Open okay. and then you okay, take and okay. then you tell us. Yeah. Let me open for you. Okay. It's a local meat, eh? Mm. Yeah, you are supposed to shake it, right? Where's the cover before you drink it? Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Okay. Yeah. Shake it. Because. That one is that can. Yeah. Oh. Palm wine. Palm wine. What with the banana flavor? Oh. Wow, this is wonderful, man. For real. Oh, it's good. Yeah. So you it's can take more. Yeah. Beverage. Yeah. Yeah. Beverage. So guys, unfortunately my phone cannot edit up to more than 25 minutes, so our next video will be the wedding video. I hope you're excited because I can't wait. See you in the next video and I'm gonna post it as soon as possible. That's our palace. Yeah.